following, let's, in this video, we're going to solve the following problem. A quarterback knows that the defensive lineman is bearing down on him. At t equals 0, the lineman has a position of minus 10 meters, a velocity of 10 meters per second. The quarterback needs to buy 1.5 seconds with his leg. If he starts excelling at 5 meters per second, can he buy this extra time? Okay, so let's draw, um, let's, let's draw a picture of what we, what we know. Okay, so, um, so this is position of the QB. This is x equals 0. This is the lineman right now, which is minus 10. The lineman has a velocity moving toward the QB at 10 v equals 10 meters per second. Presumably here, the lineman is running a full, with a full head of steam. He won't accelerate anymore. And now this quarterback is going to run away from the lineman with an acceleration of equal to 5, 5 meters per second squared. Okay, and we ask the question, can this lineman get away? All right. So we project this forward in time, basically at some point, x, right, the lineman and the quarterback will meet. All right. So let's write a position for, let's write the equation for the position of the lineman. So the lineman is x is equal to v, uh, we'll see, so the initial position is going to be um, x initial plus Let's write the full equation down first. Uh, v initial t plus one half a t squared. Okay. Uh, what is the initial position uh, x i? Well, that's just going to be basically minus ten meters. Um, the initial velocity is going to be plus ten meters per second squared. So that's basically t uh, ten meters per second, and acceleration is zero. So that's it basically. Okay. And now for the q b. Right, the x final is going to be equal to the initial position, right? Plus v i t plus one half a t squared. Now initial position is x equals zero, so that's just going to be zero. Plus the initial velocity is zero. So quarterback starts at rest. Plus basically one half um, uh, a t squared, which is five times t squared. All right, okay, so now we'll, we will basically assume that they will meet at this x final position, right? So we can set the alignment and the QB equal to each other, right? So if we, if we do that, this is where they meet. We have minus 10 meters plus 10 T, well, let's take that meters out, okay? So that's the alignment, and that is equal to the position of the quarterback, which is just going to be 1 half 5 times T squared. All right, okay, so let's basically move all the t's to one side. So it's going to be 1 half 5 times t squared um, minus 10t plus 10 is equal to 0. That's the equation. This is what's called a quadratic equation, equation which looks of the form basically a t squared plus b t plus c equals 0. And the solution to the equation is given by basically t is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so we just got to figure out what a, b, and c are in this equation and then plug in this, this formula and we got it. All right, so let's basically write this out. So a is going to be 5 over 2, b is going to be minus 10, and c is going to be 10. All right, so the first part is going to be um, uh, minus b, which and b is minus 10, so it's minus minus 10, which is 10, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 10 squared, that's 100, minus 4ac, so 4 is uh, basically 5 divided by, by 2, which is 2.5, so 4 times 5 over 2, times basically c is 10, right, over 2a, a is going to be 5 divided by 2, which is basically 5 over 2. All right. Okay. So, turns out you solve this thing. This is going to be 100 again. And so this is going to be 0. So it's just equal to t equals 2 seconds. 10 divided by 2 times 5 over 2, which is 5. So 10 divided by 2 is 2 seconds. All right. So that's when they will meet, which is bigger than 1.5 seconds, which is what the quarterback required. So hopefully the quarterback bought that extra time and got away from the avoid, avoid a